So I proceeded here to uh, scan the QR code at the bottom, and this is where things started to get uh, ugly. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the Google Nest Wi-Fi, or some people call it the Google Mesh. I was not going to do a video about this. As you can see, my system here is installed. The box is empty. But I ran into a problem during installation. Maybe I should say a major problem. And I thought that I should share my experience with you guys because uh, instead of calling support and waiting maybe for days, who knows, maybe what happened to me will work for you. And I don't know if it was just magic or pure luck, but you will see what happens in a couple of minutes. So before I show you my installation, I just want to say that when you open the box, this is what you get for instructions. Very, very simple. You plug your devices, you uh, install Google Home app, and then you just add devices, as simple as that. And just one note, I'm not doing a video about the performance, but just the installation. But I want to say that we had before a range extender and we had, we still had a few blind spots in our house, but that's only $50. This is $350, a lot more money, but you get two Google assistants in the access uh, points. And, uh, and also, basically, we have no dead zones in our house. So we get a very good signal in every corner, on every floor of our house. So this is a very impressive system. So let me show you my installation and I will show you what went wrong. The first thing you do is install the router and I must say that the installation is very simple. So you install the power cable, you install the Ethernet cable into your uh, modem uh, here and then following the Google Home app on your phone you install this by scanning the uh, barcode, not the barcode, but the QR code that you see at the bottom of the device. And about uh, 30 seconds later, it's done. Then you see a message asking you if you want to install the first access point. You tap on yes, and let's go to that point now. So we have our first access point here on the second floor of the house. You have to plug in for power, and all you have to do is scan the QR code at the bottom over there and again like three seconds later it is installed and this is also like I said a Google Assistant. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 2.18 p.m. Now it will ask you at the end if you want to install a second access point. You tap on yes and now let's go to that point. And now we are at our second access point in the corridor close to the bedrooms. So I proceeded here to uh, scan the QR code at the bottom, and this is where things started to get uh, ugly. I got the message, wrong code. So I thought, oh, maybe it's just the lighting. So I moved it around, I turned on more lights, and yet after 10 times, I got the message, wrong code. Then I realized that there, there was a skip button at the bottom of the Google app uh, application. So I tapped on that, and it told me to enter manually the, the code that is indicated at the bottom. So I did that and I got the error message, could not complete installation. Then I thought, okay, what am I going to do now? Do I call Google support? What do I do? So I thought, you know what? I'll try again to scan the QR code one last time and it did work. I have no, re no, like, no reason why, no idea why but it did work, and now I have a, also a Google Assistant, like I said. Hey Google, broadcast dinner is ready. All right, broadcasting now. Dinner is served, come and get it. Dinner is served, come and get it. So guys, like you saw, I was able in the end to scan the QR code and finish the installation flawlessly without any problems. So I don't know if I was lucky or if this is part of a like a manual recovery, but anyway, it did work for me. And I hope that if you have the, the similar problem, you'll be able to, uh, to succeed like uh, I did. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye, guys.